Hi everyone, now these are the tools you're going to need to get this look. So, the first thing I like to do is shampoo my hair with a um, sulfate free shampoo. This one's beautiful textures. You don't have to use this one, it's just what I like to use. But I love this because it's sulfate free. So, just make sure you cleanse your hair really good. You want any debris or any oils, anything left in your hair because you really want the protein treatment to take. So for my protein treatment, I'm going to be using Afro-G uh, Step 1 and Step 2 in these little packets. And I like to use an applicator bottle to apply it to my hair. So just make sure you detangle your hair really good with a big tooth comb. And then you can go ahead and apply your protein treatment from top to bottom. Now make sure you put a towel around your neck because this can get really sticky and messy but the towel really catches it so just make sure to put a towel around your neck and make sure to wear an old t-shirt. And this is just me refilling my bottle again with the second packet. Because I have really thick hair and it really absorbs all the product and I really want to saturate my hair with it. So after I apply the second packet all over my hair, I'm going to sit under the dryer and set my dryer to low heating. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how my hair looks after I come from under the dryer. Just make sure you do not comb your hair after you get from under the dryer. Go straight to the shower and rinse it all out. And then you're going to want to apply a second packet, which is the Balancing Moisturizer. After you rinse that out, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my leave-in conditioner, which I mix half with water and half leave-in conditioner. I'll make sure to leave it down below if I find it. But use your dimming brush to detangle your hair from your ends all the way to the base of your hair. And see how it's really making my curls pop? This treatment is really awesome. So if you want to get a really good curl with your rods, you want to make sure you detangle your hair really good. So what I'm going to do is separate my first piece. And I like using these clips. These are actually roller clips for hot rollers, but I like to use them because they're soft and they don't put any like stress on my hair by you know clamping it too tight. So after I move that out of the way, I take my end paper, well, I comb it again, and I take my end paper and put it at the ends of my hair, and I'm going to be using the Elastic QP foam to give me my hold for my curl. And I know end papers are old school, but I just like to protect my ends of my hair and get that really nice, sleek look, and it just grabs all of the hair at the end. Don't worry about those short pieces. I'm going to use a smaller roller to catch this shorter piece. I'm just going to do the same method all over my whole head, all the way to the end. And I'm just going to use my rollers and go all the way around because I want like a full, I, don't, I didn't really make like a part in the middle of my head. I'm just kind of grabbing each piece and I'll part it with my fingers as I go. I didn't really use a comb to make like any decent part or anything because I'm not really trying to get a, a really like defined part. I just want it to look nice and full. And this is the end result. And of course, um, these little guys right here, I make sure to leave a link down below. This is for when I sleep at night with the rollers because I sit under the dryer for like two hours, but it was really hot, so I had to get to bed. But I use these on the side I sleep on. It just makes it easier. If you have any questions, just comment down below about those soft rollers. But it came out good, so this is how they look. And make sure when you take them out, you be really gentle. I know you're happy that you're finished at the end, but be really gentle with taking your rollers out. <laughs> and 
and for my uh, product I'm going to use to take my curls apart I'm going to use the Cantu hair dressing and make sure to make if you're going to pull your curls apart you have to make sure you do it in the direction of the curl and this is it very easy and to make sure how I got this full look I used a pick a hair pick so what I did was just take the hair pick and I pulled at the base of my curls. Not at the curl, you pull at the base of your curl and you just gently lift up because you don't want to pop your hair. And that'll just give you a nice full volume look. Oh, and I have these nice curl formers. So if you guys want to see like how I use my curl formers, that can be my next tutorial. Just comment down below or give me a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see how I use my curl formers. 